This is a quick and short video on coronavirus. There was a mysterious pneumonia outbreak in China which has been linked to a virus that has never been seen before. Chinese scientists have identified the virus as a new type of coronavirus. As of now it is called coronavirus until it gets an official name by the World Health Organization. Now where did this come from? This virus has been traced to a seafood market in Wuhan, China that has been closed for sanitation since January 1st. Since it originated from a seafood market where all kinds of wild animal meats are sold. That means it has been said that the virus was transmitted from animals to humans. However, nobody knows what the primary host is for this virus yet. And now it is spreading from human to human. The pathogen is said to be a member of a family of viruses that causes viral respiratory illness, which means it affects our lungs causing shortness of breath and severe pneumonia. The human body consists of millions of tiny living organisms which all together are called bacteria, archaea, protists, fungi and viruses. Bacteria are microbes that are found on the skin, in the nose, mouth and especially in the gut. We acquire these bacteria during birth and the first years of life and they live with us throughout our lives. Now there are good bacteria and bad bacteria. Good bacteria help our body digest food and absorb nutrients and they produce several vitamins in the intestine. They even protect us from dangerous diseases. Bad bacteria make you sick by affecting your vital organs. That is why antibiotics are given to kill these bad bacteria. But in the process, antibiotics also kill the good bacteria. This can cause an imbalance of bacteria in the body that can lead to many problems. That is why antibiotics are to be taken super carefully. The same principle of good and bad bacteria applies to animals too. Pathogens usually enter our bodies through eyes, mouth, nose or urogenital openings or through wounds and bites that breach the skin barrier. A simple example would be, let's say an infected person touches a surface such as a doorknob, table or handle, leaving behind germs that are then transferred to another person who touches that surface and then touches his or her eyes, mouth or nose. That's the most common way pathogens enter our bodies. In the same way bacteria infect the animals too. And when humans consume the meat of an infected animal, the bacteria get further transmitted to humans through the food supply. So basically the meat and food industry are vulnerable to a variety of infectious diseases during food processing stages, mainly due to poor personal hygiene and poor processing sanitation practices, which in turn can develop the growth of bacteria, viruses, molds and yeasts. This coronavirus is said to be from the same family of viruses that include severe acute respiratory syndrome and the Middle East respiratory syndrome, both of which are respiratory diseases that are transmitted from animals to humans. In the case of China, January 25th is their new year. Chinese New Year is also known as the Spring Festival. It is the most important celebration in the Chinese calendar. In Chinese tradition, each year is named after one of 12 animals, which features in the Chinese zodiac. That means the animals will have a year dedicated to them once every 12 years, in a cycle. 2020 is the year of rat for them, plus it is a lunar new year. During this time, millions of people typically travel throughout the country and abroad. Such a large-scale migration of people at a time of a virus outbreak will likely spread the disease further, both within China and beyond. Cases have already shown up in Thailand, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan and the United States. Around the world, airports have screening measures, basically they have a mechanism like temperature checks. Because symptoms of this virus include runny nose, cough, sore throat, breathing problem and high fever. But evidence has proved that entry screening like this isn't very effective at identifying people with new viruses. The outbreak of coronavirus at this time of the year will certainly hit the Chinese economy. Travel, hospitality, retail and catering industries are the ones that will be majorly affected. According to China's Ministry of Commerce, Chinese consumers in 2019 spent $149 billion over the week-long Chinese New Year holiday. But this year, the consumer spending is expected to fall compared to last year's data. This is a classic example of the economic risks and impacts of epidemics.